Welcome back. Oh, finally we're cooking. I know all this healthy stuff we've been talking about, we deserve to have a good dinner. So we are going to be in the kitchen here cooking uh, what's called, what did you call it, Tanner? So guacamole chicken. All right, Tanner Duval here is my young friend. He is just a recent high school graduate, and he is working at our local produce market, Monette. So if you're watching the Toledo area, all these ingredients are there. Uh, so, like I said, you're a young guy, mm -hmm. and you're going to make us a healthy dish. Why are you eating healthy? Is there is this always something you've done, or you you're, you were an athlete? All through high school, I kind of ate healthy. Um, I did three sports throughout high school. Um, so my diet was always more healthy. I kind of stayed away from, you know, uh, junk food. But now that I've been working at mm -hmm. Monette's, I'm more exposed to this sort of food. And I started thinking, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can combine these healthy ingredients to make something that really tastes amazing. Now, you, when you were, your, your main sport was running uh, cross country. So you yes. really, you were saying carbs. You were, a lot of carbs. So that's, you can eat carbs, everyone, but you just have to run cross country <laughs> and be an 18 year old boy, and then you'll be perfectly fine. <sighs> old ladies we can't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right so the question is you were saying that a lot of people have a misconception now that you work at the produce mm -hmm. market they have a misconception about that if I want to eat whole right. foods it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. And you know and Talk it really doesn't. Um, I bought all of these ingredients for this guacamole chicken for under ten dollars, and I was able to feed my family of five for mm -hmm. uh, dinner. So got a brother and a sister and mom and dad. Yeah, I mean, fairly you large had family, and uh, most of us teenagers. Uh -huh. So I mean, big eaters. Right. So I was able to buy it for under ten dollars, and it, it's good for you, and it tastes pretty amazing too. I won't lie. I, I'm excited to see mm -hmm. what what the deal is here. So. Um, you came up with this recipe. First of all, we want to let you know that the Monettes, and I'll put that link up on Rainier Full Plate, uh, Full Plate TV, because we've got a whole good recipe. I've got yes. some of the ingredients are going to run as we do this, but you know, when it comes mm -hmm. to how exactly step by step, we do have that on the Monettes page okay. as well. So definitely give them a like if you want good ideas for healthy, wholesome foods, mm -hmm. right? All right, so you came up with this idea. What, what was the light bulb moment, moment? You're looking in the store and you're seeing... I'm stacking avocados and I'm thinking, you know, I've never really had guacamole before, but uh, I, uh, you hear all the ads about how avocado is so nutritious and good for you. And I'm thinking, you know, what's another meat that you could kind of combine with it? And chicken is actually really good for you. Um, white meats. Mm -hmm. So I a thought... A nice lean bit of chicken. Yep. So I thought maybe uh, in a way that you could combine that, uh, you could make a, a superfood. A you know, superfood. Superfood. That's the best way. That's I can what. Put it. That's what Jackie Warner told us in the first uh, segment. Superstar ingredients, things that you want to incorporate into your diet. So, um, let's sort of give this a try here, then. Let's do it, young Tanner Duval. All okay. right. So, what I need to turn on a burner to get that started. Yes, you do. Okay. I'll, is it kind of high? Uh, yeah. Put it actually on medium heat. That's probably better, actually. Okay. All right. So I've got that started. What's the first step in Tanner Duvall's Monette's guacamole chicken? First thing you want to do is definitely get your avocado. It's important in guacamole. <laughs> uh, chop it up or cut it in half and you're going to want to scoop it out with a spoon. It can be a little stubborn sometimes. So mm -hmm. get that going. Um, yeah, I know. Need all that squishy right, sound. Right, right. All that <laughs> yummy sound. Okay. Uh, most of your flavor is actually going to come from the lime and the cilantro. So don't be too shy with how much lime juice you're going to put in here. You really want to squeeze that lime mm -hmm. for all it's worth. Right. And you, um, so if you were doing a family of four or five, you would you'd probably do a want couple to use of avocado and a couple. Uh, I use three avocado. Okay. Um, for this, I just had the half here just for demonstration. But I use three avocado for a family of five, and um, I used a whole lime for the juice. Okay. So I put got it. The lime there. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Kind of put it over your avocado, loosens it up a little bit so you can mash it up. Uh, mashing it up takes quite a bit of time, so I'm going to just kind of get it going and then stop. Right, so then you'll show us yeah. what it looked like after when, you got that done. in there. Yeah. Okay, and so then your avocado, your um, your guac is kind of ready, and mm -hmm. and I'll show everyone yeah. what your guacamole, you've all had, Beautiful. you're not, you're experienced in the world, you know what guacamole looks like. <laughs> um, okay, so then, then what? Well, the most important part, personally, mm -hmm. I think is the cilantro. That's where the all cilantro. the flavor is coming from. Okay. Um, you know, the first time I made it, I didn't put so much in. Be careful. You, right. You want to get a ton going here. Just kind of keep mixing mm -hmm. it up, cutting okay. in little pieces. All right. All um, right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. It's sharp yeah. knives, Tanner. Be careful. My parents don't want me to use knives, so this is kind of <laughs> this is new for me. Not, um, get a little I'm bit of that. I'm such a mom. Be careful. Right. 
All right, so you put that in the yep. cilantro in there. Yeah, you're gonna wanna, like I said, mashing it up is mm -hmm. really important. Can't mm -hmm. get that going right now. Okay. Um, another important piece is jalapenos. I'm not a big, I don't like a lot of spicy food, but no. that's definitely something you can go a lot on, go a little bit on, throw that in there. You know, Mr. Anir, that's what he calls my husband, yeah. Mr. Anir, he likes a lot of spicy spice, and, and I don't, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to split it up there, or just use a little less of it, maybe. You don't need a whole bunch, and okay. you're gonna get a little bit of kick. Tomato is another thing you can go a little bit or a lot on. Um, it doesn't add a ton of flavor, it's mostly texture with the tomato. And prettiness, Yeah, so it, pretty. It adds a little bit of color, it does. <laughs> Um, onion, definitely. That's something I go heavy on, but I don't know. A lot of people are going to like that personally. Your girlfriend doesn't mind. No, she, she, she uh, loves my onion breath, Mrs. Rainier. Yeah, <laughs> not so much. Not so much. Um, you still have the same girlfriend, right? I Back do. from the high school I do. days. Yeah, high school girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so you've got all those ingredients in there. What's that in there this right now? This is garlic powder. You okay. want to definitely add a little bit of that. And you got it all in there. All of it's in and there. And then do you put a little oil in the pan here? Just is that a little the next bit. step? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm a little not, bit of olive oil? Yep. I'm not okay. going to use the F word. We're not frying this. We're browning it. Okay? We're browning okay, it. Okay, that's very important. Just a little Good. bit. Good. We don't use the F word on this show. Yeah, especially not. <laughs> um, any kind of well, any type. Yeah. Okay. So you've got a little bit of oil in the pan, yep. which is heating up. You've mm -hmm. got your two pieces. We're just going to show you the chicken. Yep. Um, got the chicken here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can get you some tongs so you don't get burnt. That I don't want to be touching. That's yeah. all right. We, we, this is TV cooking, so everyone understands. Thank you. But there's tongs for future reference. Appreciate there you it. Go. Uh, and then another thing that you can do here, and this mm -hmm. is kind of to the uh, chef's choice, mm -hmm. is your seasoning. Uh, you can go with a little bit of seasoned salt. I use Cajun on mine. You use Cajun I on yours? I use Cajun. That now that's a little more heat. See, you're going back with a little more heat. It, you don't want to use a bunch. Uh, okay. It's just a little bit of flavor. Okay, so you use a little bit on there. I'm going to spread that around Thank a little bit so for you. Um, another healthy alternative, if you want to grill this, you can grill it, and that will uh, still give you the desired result. Mr. Rainier doesn't let me touch the grill, oh. Tanner. <laughs> But I can do this inside, and since we're in winter, right. that's probably what yeah, we'll do. That's, I didn't grill it because it was so cold out yeah. the last few days. But that's a great idea. Just the, All right, so you're bit. essentially going to brown it on both sides? Yep, just right? going to brown it. And then uh, after that, you're pretty much done. It's real quick. Uh, the prep is what's going to take the longest. Which was getting that guacamole yes, ready. Yes, that's uh, definitely the longest part. But once you brown it, you're just going to pop it in the broil for a little bit. Uh, cheese is going to melt over it. We got nice pepper jack cheese. Once again, that's the chef's discretion. That is your choice of cheese. Uh -huh. There you go. Oops. That's okay. Pepper jack gives it a nice flavor, I think. Do I a little bit of your seasoning on the other on the flip side. Yeah. Okay. All righty. That looks. This is smelling good already too, it, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good. Are you proud of yourself? I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> For somebody who has never cooked before, uh, starting new recipes, I mean, this isn't the first thing that I started cooking, mm -hmm. but uh, this is definitely one of my most successful recipes. I think, And it's going to be famous. It's yeah, on TV. Exactly. Wow. You're just a brand new cook, and mm -hmm. here it is on TV. But the idea was pick ingredients that you like, right. wholesome ingredients, and mm -hmm. see if they can work together. Yeah, so it's you, all about being creative. It's all about being creative. Uh, the chicken's already dead. You can't kill it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you uh, get this browned on both sides, and it's mm -hmm. a fairly thin chicken breast. Let's just show what it looks like when you put it in a pan. Now, you normally did a metal pan, but I didn't mm -hmm. have any in here That's today, fine. so we're going to so put that in there. Chicken out of here. And how long does it usually take in the pan, just yeah, since just we did it fast? Be careful. Seven or eight minutes, not too long. Okay. Um, you're going to want to... And then you put your guacamole on the top. Just spread the guacamole Guac on, on there. the top. I like a lot of guac oh, on Oh, we can call it that. Guac, guac on, on top, top chicken. Oh, good thinking. Awesome. Yeah. All right. This and then you put collaborate. a little bit of foil over the top of it, too, when you're when you're cooking it. I put it under it. Just, Underneath yes. it. Okay. Um, so that's another little tip that you'll see mm -hmm. when you go to that site. And then throw down the pepper jack cheese throw and broil it up. Pepper jack, throw down. All right. So then you put it in. He's got a real hot oven because he says he's broiling it. So he's got it in the 500 or so range, degree range. And how long do you put it in the oven for? Just as long as it takes for the cheese to melt. A couple of minutes is all it's really going to take. Okay. So it's pretty quick process. All right, and look at this, Tanner Duval and Monette's 
Walk on the Top. I'm happy with that title. Yeah, I like that too. It's alliteration, right? I'm Remember? Gonna, yeah, high school. <laughs> I got that. All right. Thank you, Tanner, and thank you for joining us today. This recipe, we'll link it to you on the website, which mm -hmm. is Rainier.tv. Visit us on Facebook, which is Full Plate, mm -hmm. Rainier Full Plate, and you will find out exactly how to make Mamets and Tanner Duval's Guac on the Top. Thanks for watching. How was that? Pretty it good? It was great. Thank you for having me. Thank